messenger RNA and their levels, they play a significant role in the translation process. And in this segment, it is exactly this is we will discuss that how the control of messenger RNA and the gene expression, they are regulated or they are controlled. Now, the gene expression in eukaryotic gene can be regulated at three levels. One is the transcriptional level, processing, or the translation levels. These are the three levels where the gene expression can be controlled or regulated in the eukaryotic genes. For example, if we see in this diagram, this is the depicting the overview levels of control of gene expression. There is gene 1, gene 2, gene 3, and then they are being controlled at different levels where the further or the final control is eventually in the translation of different type of the proteins where in the eukaryotic cells. Now eukaryotes both intracellular signaling and intercellular signaling or the communication, they are important for transcriptional regulation in eukaryotic cells because the regulation in the eukaryotic cell, it is from surface to the nucleus where it is controlled, these. Now positive and regulate, negative regulator proteins, they are called transcription factors and they bind to the specific region of DNA and stimulate or inhibit the transcription. So the positive and negative regulator proteins, they are there in the eukaryotic cells and they are, as a matter of fact, they bind to the specific region of the DNA, stimulating or inhibiting this. Now in the prokaryotic cells, where the protein or the DNA interaction actually take place, and there is a negative lac repression and the positive cap and cyclic AMP or an A polymerase expression. So in the prokaryotic, the regulatory levels, that is the different game all together. Now alternate splicing of RNA is another way of controlling the levels of the uh, messenger RNA and alternate splicing of transcripts makes it possible for a single gene to, con to encode several polypeptides and from several polypeptides it means the several types of different proteins which are expressed in there. It is a prominent mechanism to generate protein diversity. The cells, when they generate a protein diversity, when they generate the proteins of different natures, then alternate splicing of RNA is a mechanism which is used by the cell. For example, if we see this, there is a gene, exon 1, 2, 3, 4, and the messenger RNA, respectively 1, 2, 3, 4. But in alternating splicing, what happens? That messenger RNA for protein A, it makes a 1, 2, 3 gene. But for alternate splicing, it can also go to 1, 2, and the 4, which is the protein B, and so on. If there are large number of exons, large number of messenger RNAs, then you can imagine that how complicated 
picture becomes. Now, cytoplasmic control as messenger RNA stability because there ought to be a stable RNA which is there and messenger RNA stability is influenced by several factors in the cell. For example, the poly A tail, then the sequence of 3 UTR, which is actually UTR stands for untranslated regions of uh, messenger RNA, and they often contain regulatory region. In the UTR, which are untranslated region, there are some regulatory regions, the regions which regulate the protein synthesis and the post-transcription influence gene expression. Similarly, chemical factor such as hormones and enzymes and other, and small interfering RNAs, which, is, which are abbreviated as SIRNAs or microRNA, which is the microRNAs, these are the factors which control the cytoplasmic control of the messenger RNA stability, which make them stable. Now, small interference RNA acting as a gene silencer has been, the mechanism has been depicted in this picture, where the small messenger RNA, they act as a silencer, they go and act with the different components. Eventually, they take place the translational mechanism of the cell for the proteins. The eukaryotic gene expression can be induced by environmental factor such as heat and by signaling molecules. Signaling molecules we know, we have studied, they are hormones, growth factors and other compounds which are there. So in this, in this segment, we have seen that the, that the eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells, they control the messenger RNA level and the translation by the different mechanism. In prokaryotic, we have seen there is a positive and negative influences, whereas the eukaryotic gene, it is controlled by the cell signaling as the eukaryotic cell, the cell signaling from surface to the interior of the cell, that is the mechanism which is controlled there. And we must bear in mind that the eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell control mechanism are entirely different 